you know, I think about it too from 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 a standpoint of our body. Um, there's some easy ways. Um, there's only really two ways to enter into what's known as ketosis. Um, and from an evolutionary standpoint, let's go back to our evolution okay. as humans. And I want to break this down. And for all of our listeners, hopefully this is going to make sense. Our bodies are big, beautiful refrigerators. Uh, I'm not making fun of anybody. Don't get mad at me. Don't cut me off. Our bodies are big, beautiful refrigerators. And when our bodies are operating and our metabolism kicks in, our body needs to make some decisions on where it's going to get its fuel source from. And so, again, it's looking at the refrigerator. So what is the, if you're thinking about a refrigerator, which one is the easier one to get food out of, the refrigerator or the freezer? Which food is going to be faster? If I need to eat right now, right now I need to eat, I need to get something, which one's going to be better? Which is it, Smith Smith? The refrigerator. All right, he's paying attention. All right, and so and so, I've got the refrigerator, I got the freezer, right? And, and so I grab out on the right side typically, um, and think about your sugar and your carbohydrates like that side. When your body, it's not necessarily the prefer, preferred source for your body because a lot of people get that confused. They want to say, "Oh, glucose, sugar is the preferred source of your." No, 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 no. It's not the preferred source. It's the easiest, quickest source um, to maximize the body. So the body instantly wants to go to it. OK, and the freezer is our fat deposits that stay on us, right? Mm -hmm. On our stomach and on our hips. And it's where a lot of people hold their weight. They, they hold it in their freezer. Um, and so our bodies adapted this beautiful, beautiful scientific thing to where when we overeat, when we have excess calories, instead of wasting them, because you can go back to evolution wise, it wouldn't make much sense. We can't just waste calories. We've now consumed them. We need to do something with them. Mm -hmm. Instead of putting it in the fridge refrigerator, our glucose is stored. All right. There's processed through, the, you know, through the liver and glycogen. It can either go into our skeletal muscles, into the liver or into our adipocytes, which are our fat cells. They go into our fat and it's our extra calories. That's all extra calories are. That's all your fat is, is old food that you've ate. And when you start thinking about that, it really starts throwing your mind. I feel like, wait, that's my old food being stored on me. Yes, that's all it is. It's extra calories being stored on your body in your adipose cells, your fat cells. And so your body, when you consume sugar all day, and you already you already kind of preached on this, and carbohydrates, man, I didn't realize how bad these guys are. When your blood sugar stays up, your body never gets the signal to go into the freezer. When you're constantly eating sugar and carbohydrates, okay, your body stays grabbing things out of the refrigerator, and it never, ever touches the freezer. And again, remember, we're using the freezer as our example of our fat stores, right? Mm -hmm. And so... Every time we consume a little bit of sugar, our body stays in grabbing things out of the refrigerator. It never touches the freezer. Okay. Also, a lot of people get nervous. They're like, well, if I don't eat, what, what, what are my muscles going to shrink? Is my body going to shrink? Am I going to hurt? What, what, what am I going to do? Okay. The refrigerator itself is your protein, the actual metal building. Your body does not want to mess with that. Your body is smart. Your body is like, all right, I got some options. My refrigerator's out, right? I don't have anything on this side. I can either eat the things in the freezer or I can eat the freezer itself. What kind of sense does that make? The body's not going to do that. The body's not going to start breaking down proteins and muscles. That doesn't make much sense. The body's just going to use all those extra calories that you stored, right? right? And so entering into a state of what's known as ketosis in the keto diet became very popular. And I've done it a little while myself. I think fasting and keto together is actually a beautiful combination. Um, is essentially switching your body from the refrigerator to the freezer and learning to burn those foods, learning to cook those foods out of that. Um and entering into ketosis, I'm not going to get into a lot of a lot of the science on it, but your body, again, has preferred fuel sources. And if it doesn't have sugar, it has to switch over. It has to make a decision. What are we going to burn? We're going to burn the protein or we're going to burn these extra fats. We got the easy thing is just burn the fats, right? And what the body does is it makes that decision. Glucagon, glucagon gets released and tells the body, burn it all. We need some. We're, you know, our bodies, we're still moving. We're still talking. We're still exercising. We don't have any sugar. We don't have any carbohydrates. Our refrigerator's empty, Billy. <laughs> Go to the freezer. And it does. It goes to the freezer and it pulls those out. And it releases these things known as ketones. All right. Again, for those of you still with us, um, beta hydroxybutyrate and I think it's acetyl acetate yeah acetyl acetate those are the two major ketones that our body's going to release those fats from the freezer it's going to release into our bloodstream and it's going to say hey use these instead here's those extra calories we stored for a rainy day today's a rainy day burn these instead use these instead and when we fast when we exercise excessively ketones get released into our body 
Okay. And those, the brain, the brain uses them, our whole body uses them. They had to make an adaptation in early human history um, to be able to do that when we went through periods of fasting. And the body actually likes that. Your brain actually loves ketones. A lot of people get that confused. Um, your brain actually uses more power. I think it's like 60% of our energy, or maybe it's like 80%. It's pretty high up there. Um, your brain uses a ton, and you'll start burning excess fat. When you fast and when you enter into a state of ketosis, and a lot of times when people get the keto diet wrong is they still overeat, mm -hmm. right? I mean, you can't eat 40 pieces of bacon a day and you're going to lose weight. Your calories are still excess. Yes, you're in ketosis, mm -hmm. but your body's not burning what it's already got. It's exactly. just burning what it's, what it's taking in, right? Mm -hmm. And so when you fast, though, there is nothing. There is nothing coming in. So your body has to pull from it. Um, and so, man, you talk about getting me excited when you start talking about fasting and just the, the health benefits of it. Um, is this is major, so, and I hope people are listening. 